Math is simpler than you think. Welcome to Math with Hembo. 안녕하세요. Welcome to Math with Hembo. In this session, we're going to cover basic geometry. When it comes to geometry, there are three basic shapes, triangle, rectangle, and a circle. Because circle is a different beast altogether, I will leave it until the end. Let me just do the, show you triangle and the rectangle first. When it comes to labeling it, just A, B, and C will do for the triangle. And length and width, obviously, for a rectangular object. For a perimeter, it's a distance around an object. So the best thing for triangle sides is just add them up. A plus B plus C. For the rectangle, there are three ways. You could do length plus width, and then length plus width. Remember, length plus width only gives you two sides. There's opposite sides that you must consider. They're equal to one another. So there are two widths and two lengths. Knowing that, you could do length plus width, and then you could do times two at the end, or you could do two lengths, plus two widths. When it comes to area of an object, what we're trying to measure is how many square boxes there are of a certain unit inside any given object. So for example, in, uh, example in a rectangle, if I measure three by two, like so, three, whatever the unit is, by two, how many square boxes have we got? So essentially it's three and three gives us six. Best way to do it though is to go, just go length times width. That will give us how many square boxes there are in any given rectangle. For a triangle though, we often uh, get stuck with the formula and can't remember. But if you remember that a rectangle divided into half like diagonally so, gives us two triangles. And that gives us a big clue as to the formula of a triangle. It's essentially, length times width being divided by two. But in a triangle, we don't see the length and we don't see the width. However, if we turn this triangle into an imaginary rectangle like so, you begin to see certain shapes or certain measurements appear. Here we have the width and here we have the length. For the width, no matter where we go, if we draw a perpendicular line from the top to the bottom, that is the width. But in a triangle, we call that a height. So essentially, length times width divided by 2 becomes length, which is base, times height being divided by 2. And that essentially is the formula for the triangle that we see over there. For the volume, though, don't get confused. All we have to do is, if we have a box, just know length times width is already there. We know the formula, area. And then just got to calculate the third, uh, incorporate the third measurement. So here, the formula for a volume is always area times the third dimension. So here, it's length times width, which is the area, times the height. For the volume of a triangle, Essentially the same thing, base times height times the length of an object. So base times height being divided by 2 times the length of an object. And here's your area, and here is your third dimension. As for the circle, the thing to note is that from the center of the circle to the outer edge is known as a radius. From one outer edge to the other is known as a diameter. And obviously, there are two radii uh, per diameter. So here, the formula to remember, d is 2r, 2 times radius. That also means if you want to calculate the radius, it's diameter being divided by 2. That's also important. Because when we want to calculate the distance around the circle, the thing to remember is that it's called a circumference. And the formula for it is something known as pi times diameter, or 2 times pi times the radius, also known as 2 pi r. Going alphabetical, that's all. 
As for the area, you square the radius. This is known as pi times radius times radius. In case you don't know what an exponent is, it is a faster way of multiplying. So when you see a square or a cube on top or whatever the small number, superscript up there is, multiply the big base, big number or letter by itself that many number of times, and that's it. As for a cylinder, we know this is pi r squared, so all we have to do is multiply by the third dimension again. So here, area times the third dimension gives us pi r squared times the height, and that is for the cylinder. Now that you know how to do basic geometry, we can take on the next challenge together. <music>